Hello, I'm just going to do a quick video on some Zoho feedback. Obviously, we've got the Zoho One forum where we 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 talk about everything that Zoho can do. I want to add a feedback section where we're going to talk about things that Zoho can't do or if they just improved them a bit, it would be better. And today, the first one, I'm going to go Zoho Desk. Now, the reason I don't use Zoho Desk, I still use Zoho Zendesk. Sorry, I use Zendesk still. Apart from the fact Zendesk cost me a pound a month because I'm on legacy pricing, because I've had it three or four years. There really is just one simple reason why I'm not using Zoho Desk. And I've used it, um, and all, all it is really is the forwarding email. So a lot of people email me direct. So what I get is I want, I want to just forward it into a support ticket. So somebody asked me a question on email, I just want to forward it forward to them, right? So what happens in... In Zoho Desk is I'm going to show you in other configurations here create tickets on behalf of the sender while forwarding emails when an agent forwards an email to your support mailbox it creates a ticket in the same name of the sender when disabled the agent is treated as the contact so what happens when you forward it you've then got to add important for forwarded emails agents must insert this keyword and the sender's email so um, what I've got to do is what I wanted to do was just forward it to support at paulnicholson.com, which is what I already do. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So if I get an email, um, say somebody sends me an email, I can do it from here, right? Paul at Remodel uh, to Paul at Paul Nicholson. Paul, I need your help. Uh, how do I import ah, contacts to Zoho CRM? Something like that. That's generally what I get, right? CRM, right? Something like that. So I'll get an email to me personally, which I don't mind, but I I get a lot of emails and I want to I want to make sure that I reply to this later right so i go okay so if it's on my phone or it's on my computer i want to put it in my ticketing system so i don't forget it so all i do currently and this is what i wanted to do with zoe was forward it to support at paulnicholson.com send it and instantly i i'll get a reply and the customer will get a reply saying i've created a ticket right so maybe instantly it could take 30 seconds there you go support so here you've been assigned this ticket i've created a ticket and the customer there i'm not going to open it because it's a private email it actually forwards back look so then the customer gets this your request has been received and is being reviewed by our staff so i've created a ticket now to do that in z in in zoho desk what i have to do and this is why i just don't use it currently so if you fix this zoho i'm going to change over to you i've got to copy this right i've got to go hashtag original sender now i haven't got um the support email set up as this so obviously yeah, i'm going to send it to this email address but i could send it to support at paul nicholson but I, currently i've not got it set up so i'm going to copy this so this is what i've got to do in zoho desk so here's that same email um this email right so i'm going to forward it to this email address which is it's just picked it up support at happy me biz Zoho desk, right? And then I've got a port hashtag original sender, hashtag original sender, and is that squiggly brackets? Yeah, squiggly brackets sender email, right? So then I've got to do um, Paul at Remodel International dot com close brackets right so that's how you do it in zoho so i've got to remember i've got to spell this correctly to create a ticket i've got to remember this is original underscore sender and it may not seem like as big a deal but um to me i just want to forward an email there we go so it worked look so here's the ticket a new ticket has been submitted and the customer's got one it'll bounce to me in a second because that forwards um Come on. There it is. So here's the ticket for the customer. So it works. It's just that little funky thing that I've got to 
I've got to add original sender, pull that remodel. Uh, you know, it's not a massive deal. I probably could remember, but I don't want to go on my phone and put hashtag original underscore sender open squiggly bracket email address close. I just want to forward it to an address, and it's literally the only reason um, that that I'm not currently moving across to to Zoho Desk as my default um, ticketing system. So just a, just, it's just feedback. I want this section on my forum to be constructive feedback. There's a lot of good things on Zoho Desk. I just I would like that feature uh, to be a little simpler to use. Uh, because I think it'll make it makes life a lot easier, especially if you want to forward it to sales at so and so or or um, um, HR at. You've got different departments, so you just want to forward the damn ticket, don't you? You don't want to have to remember the code to do it. Little thing, but it will make it better.